on your head. It's really big. I don't care. No, no, I care. <laughs> it's not funny. There's so many bugs here. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this quick because I don't like insects. And Michael brought me to this like foresty place. There's like lots of insects. So um, let's do this quick. And I got bit. I'm not enjoying this, but I know that you like nature and me filming in nature. Go away! So, um, I'm gonna try to, you know, be better about filming outside for you. Today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, is a what's in my bag video. This is my first big purse. Um, most of the purses or the bags that I carry are usually cross over the body and they're um, a lot smaller. They're about a quarter of the size of this bag. But I was contacted by Teddy Blake, New York, and they wanted me to try out their bag and see if I like it. And so I decided to try it and I actually really do like it. The only thing is when I put a lot of stuff in here, it gets really heavy. And I don't like heavy bags, which is why I usually carry a crossbody. But I think that it is a very pretty, it fits a lot of stuff. And I'll just start by talking about the accessories on the exterior of the bag. When I first heard the name Teddy Blake, it reminded me of Ted Baker. And I don't know if that was done intentionally, but it probably isn't because their website does say that their company started from like 1980s or something like that. So um, I don't know, I could be wrong. But on the outside of the bag, there's this little attachment accessory and it's a little apple made out of the same leather that the bag is made out of. Their bags are handmade in Italy and they do use fine Italian leather. So very nice, very good quality and it feels very sturdy and nice. And then I have my little fur ball that I got from Korea. I don't know if I shared this already or not, but I got this for $15. Usually in Canada, it's um, hard to find fur balls really cheap like this. The cheapest I found was $30 or $35. And it wasn't for this size. It was for like a smaller size. And the bigger ones go for more. Some stores sell them for like $200 because they're real fur. But I got it in Korea. It was really cheap. It's mixed white and pink. And everyone knows I like white and pink. I love white and pink and so I think it looks really cute um, attached to my bag. And then on the handle here we have a closure strap uh, because they don't have like a, a snap closure for the, the topping. So I like that it has this so that the bag doesn't just always fly open. Let's take a look first at this zipper component right here in the middle. It's very narrow and I don't like to put too much stuff in there because I don't want to damage too much of the leather. I have some cosmetics. I have my Laneige BB cushion. I have my Etude House Dear Girls um, Powder Compact. Can Make Stay On Balm Rouge lip balm that Zeke chewed up and he probably ate this plastic and I am very disappointed in him. He should not do that. He's not a dog. And then I think the last thing in here is an eyeliner. This is Ico Waterproof Eyeliner. It is definitely not waterproof. I don't really like this eyeliner, but I'm trying to use it up because how did this spider get up here? I am though trying to use up this eyeliner because I mean it does its job but when water does get on it, it runs. So I just like to use it on the go. And then we'll take a look at this component right here on this side. I have a whole bunch of diapers. Um, these are Costco Kirkland wipes, which Michael and I really, really like. We tried the Parents Choice, but we didn't like it. Um, actually, we hated it. So not defaming Parents Choice. A lot of my students who have babies tried um, Parents Choice and they really liked it. But um, for us, we, we really like the Kirkland brand. And then I have two diapers because I used two yesterday on the go. Um, we were at church and I changed Zeke's diaper. But I do have two and we like to keep around four or five diapers in our diaper bag. Yesterday at church I just brought this purse because it could fit a lot and we just skipped out on bringing the diaper bag. So I put some diapers in here. And then I have this little baggie. This is just an Ipsy um, makeup bag full of just emergency uh, female products for you know if it comes unexpectedly your menstrual cycle but I do like to keep emergency feminine products in my bags just in case other people you know are in a state of emergency this bag also serves well as a bug swatter um, but you know it's just good to have on hand then I have hand sanitizer a pen a tissue Hello Kitty my car keys with sour plum dried plum onigiri keychain 
I had a Nidakuma and Gudetama keychain on here as well, but they fell out and they got lost and now they're missing forever. And then my house keys, which I keep um, some points cards on it. And I also have my coach purple heart keychain that Michael got me for was it our first year anniversary I think so of dating which was back in like 2010 so yeah I think it's cute I like it I still I'm still using it after seven years <laughs> but it was the first thing that I ever got from coach and Michael got it for me because I really wanted something from coach at that time I think I lost a few hearts I think they fell off but um, still going strong well done coach <laughs> Oh, it's so hot! Moving on to the next compartment here. I have first off my sunglasses. These were sent to me by Smart Buy Glasses and they have a lot of great branded sunglasses on their site for a lot of a discount, like 20-25% um, off retail price. The ones that I got are these gray ones and I chose them because they're Asian fit because a lot of sunglasses that I try they you know they sit weirdly on my nose because my nose is not as prominent as a lot of other noses from other races with Asians you know we have the the smaller nose bridge and so the sunglasses always hit my cheeks these ones are the Dolce Gabbana Asian fit something it's the gray ones they're so cute and I like them because the the lenses are a little more round so I think that they're cute and unique in shape as well so thank you smart buy glasses um, for these they're really nice I keep them in the car to use when I'm driving you can definitely check out the information down below if you're interested in discounted sunnies and then I have my iPhone which was my 22nd birthday present for I want naengmyeon I want naengmyeon I want naengmyeon I want my mom naengmyeon <laughs> my mom's like did you eat naengmyeon Yes! Naengmyeon! I got it back spring 2017. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, Isn't the iPhone 7? No. Wait, is it? Yeah. It's iPhone 7 Plus. Really? No way. Okay, I have no idea which version this is. You wouldn't have bought the 6. Yeah, yeah, it must be the 7. Okay, it's probably the iPhone 7, but I don't remember because we just got the latest one. Um, spring 2017. That's that. I really like it because um, it gives me a lot of storage space for um, posting stuff for you on social media and it also is good quality. It uh, runs really smoothly and I like the cameras as well. So I believe that it is iPhone 7 Plus. This is my... <laughs> it's okay, go ahead. You'll make nice bouquet. <laughs> this is... China? Pardon me? You're from China? No, Korea. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Have a nice shoot. Thank you. Thanks, take care. This is my coin purse that I got from Japan. You might have seen it in the travel vlogs, but it's my Nidakuma coin purse. I really like it because it's super cute and everyone knows I love Nidakuma, but Koridakuma's face here kind of got um, dirty, but that's, that's kind of unfortunate. I keep my um, debit card in this slot because I can just tap just like that. And when I was in Japan, I kept my um, transportation card in here to tap. And then inside, I just have my cards. And I like to keep my cash in here as well. I feel like it's such a good size just for the cards that you need on hand, some cash. And sometimes when I just go like out real quick, um, I like to just take this without taking any bags with me. And then I have this little first aid baggie. This is really useful because, you know, just in case something happens, all the medical stuff is in here. I have a little pill case with Tylenol, extra strength. Then we have some gauze band-aid, some sterilized cotton swabs, a little emergency guide. And then we have some gloves, some CPR, face shield. I don't know when you would ever use this. Some alcohol pads, band-aids, and medical tape. And then I have Zeke's extra socks. Zeke's extra pants <laughs> so cute it's like so small and cute oh yeah yeah yeah. they won't be turning into extra pants if they fall in the dirt zeke's extra sweater i had an extra shirt for him as well but i changed him yesterday because he spilled water on himself while drinking water he just went <sighs> which um last but not least and totally appropriately super random i have <laughs> some tape why do i have this oh i know why it's because we found a hamster two nights ago um, Michael came home at 11 p.m. holding Zeke 
and Zeke was holding the hamster with two hands. Michael found it outside of our apartment, like near the parking lot, and it must have like did a great escape from its previous owner or either that or the owner just abandoned it or like it fell off the balcony or something. I don't know. I don't know what happened to the hamster, but it was in our parking lot and so Michael brought it home because it's obviously domestic and we didn't want to just leave it there um, because it would turn into prey. So we put up like signs uh, to try to find the owner saying, you know, we found a missing hamster and um, I taped it up. That's why I have tape in my bag. If you are interested in, I'm sweating so much. If you are interested in seeing a video um, about our hamster or like talking about the hamster or just like cute footage of the hamster, definitely let us know and we might consider uploading um, the hamster like vlog ish thing so that's it for this video i do want to make a quick thank you again to teddy blake for sending me this bag i think it's really pretty i really the color is like so me <laughs> this is my favorite color and the theme of our house the color theme of our house is white and pink so um and it's not just any pink it's uh this icy pastel pink like baby pink um and i like how the hot pink is inside because i don't really like <laughs> things to be um, bright hot pink but when it's just accented like this I think it looks really pretty so yes thank you Teddy Blake um, I'll leave some information to the model of my bag and also um, you know where you can find them down below I am curious to know um, what size bags you like to carry I always used crossbody bags since um, I was in high school just small ones across my shoulder when I'm going out but I think I would be using bigger bags from now on because I just think that it's really pretty especially for um, when you're coordinating with your outfits and stuff. I think this just makes everything luxurious and beautiful. Good. No, no, no. Why do you think that's good? The video would just end like that? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about like... So annoying. <laughs> what? Thinking about what? Thinking them yet. Thinking. I forgot what I was Michael, what'd you think about my Japan vlogs? Good. The food looks good. <laughs> Are you finished yet? I'm thinking about the naengmyeon. So comment down below and tell me what kind of bags you usually carry. And if you want to go the extra step, you can tell me what's inside because I'm kind of creepy and I like to know what everyone carries. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more from us, definitely make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification to be part of the Nacho Fam. I also post daily on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. So check those platforms out if those are platforms that you use. That's it. And I will see you next time. Bye. Today's feature comment is from BTS in Fires Me, the eighth member. <laughs> this comment is from a video of Galahad singing the whole Wings album. Just little snippets of it. But I think it's definitely a must watch if you're an army so definitely click that corner and check out Galahad singing I think he did a really good job that will always be one of my favorite videos it's just him singing wings and if you have any other army friends you can send them a video too because it's really cute I think it's so cute I can never fry I can't reach